A loaf per shoe, I think, is just so doable. Without <laughs> being noticed, like totally undetected, I don't agree. Yeah, I would feel like six would be the most you could do. And like play it safe. Fucking six slices of bread in your shoe. That's it? Yeah. What do you mean that's it? You said five a minute ago. <laughs> You said fucking 15 a minute ago. Yeah, but that's because I thought you could have them like falling out of the fucking laces and being basically unnoticeable. Like, you could probably roll up six slices and get about like three per side. And they kind of like flatten out over time. Yeah, I bet like as the day goes on, you can put more bread in each shoe. Uh, so like if you just put like, like <laughs> one in until you stamped it fucking down? Yeah. That kind of... I bet you by the end of the day, you could have like a loaf in each one. I don't know, I wouldn't go over 10, honestly. Like, <laughs> if I'm doing one until it's like beat the fuck down, I would probably only go as high as like 8. On like an average day, you know, like 10 is probably kind of pushing it about. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna get that many more in there. Because it's just gonna be like. Yeah, yeah just, there's still like, it's still mass that needs to go somewhere. You can really hammer that shit down, but. I don't know. <laughs> Thinking about this, like, I'm about to go do this, so I'm like, no. Like, I bet you could fucking condense a, like a fucking slice between each toe if you really fucking tried. You'd be trying to like. Have you ever like fucking like try to fucking ground like grab a slice of bread and pound like squeeze it as tight as you can? You can get that shit tiny. You can totally get one of those between each toe. I'm gonna walk around a hiding distance. Someone would just be like, "Why are your feet fast?" <laughs> How do you know you haven't been around people with loaves of bread in their fucking shoes? You don't fucking know. You don't fucking know if you've been around somebody who's tapping out at fucking eight slices of bread. <laughs> the idea of it being like, like I, I just ran into a guy who's just like trying to talk to me and keep a straight face, but he has like this overwhelming fucking like urge in his head, just being like, "There's so much bread in my shoes. <laughs> Cannot fit more bread. Have to fit more bread. Cannot fit more bread." It's like, <laughs> like they don't know what you're saying. They already forgot your name. How does your foot feel right now? Really bad. Like my big toe is like, like being pushed in like that and I can feel my like toenail being pushed into the toe. And every time my heart beats, uh, there is like a, like a little bolt of pain right on the toe. I'm suffering to entertain people. So in many ways, I'd say I'm a Christ-like figure. There I was on top of the world. I made it through the entire playthrough video without Nick suspecting a thing. There were a few times that I thought I was done for when Nick assisted me with my wardrobe in a completely heterosexual manner, but he still didn't notice the bread in my shoes. Then, during my victory lap, in the last shot we needed to film, it all came crashing down. I was ruined, and the jig was up. It was humiliating. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> it caked in there. Oh, it's so moist. Feels like a fucking like cake fresh out of the oven. <clears throat> it's just in the fucking toes. My whole world was turned upside down. I didn't know who I was anymore. I didn't know how I was going to move on, how I'd survive where I would live, what I would eat. I couldn't keep pretending I was the Christ-like figure I once thought I was. But then, in my darkest hour, a swarm of doves flocked to my side and proved to me that just like Jesus, I can still matter to someone if I have enough bread, regardless of how dirty it is. Well, now hear me out. I bet, straight up, if you had the right boots, the right boots, I bet you could fucking do two loaves each. 